BSc Computer Science is essentially aimed at those students who are interested in monitoring and controlling other devices and how we can use the computer to control other devices such as washing machines, anti-lock braking systems on your car. And it may be using a standard PC or it might even be using small single board computers I mean, such as the Raspberry Pi or microcontroller boards or embedded system prototyping units such as the MyRio. We've done it, we've done everything from understanding and be able to design our own CPU architecture uh, to networking so we know how computers interact with each other to programming just general uh, web to uh, real-time safety critical systems. Uh, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed that uh, that module it, it, it made me realize that I actually appreciated uh, real-time systems safety critical systems. Then at level five we can move on to to critical modules real-time systems and safety critical systems as well as other modules such as interfacing techniques, so how you can connect perhaps a PC to another piece of equipment. My final year project was getting the Bitronics production line working with a microcontroller. Building it as a real-time system so it would react to users' inputs and outputs, not only from keyboards and mice, but also from the input devices such as the infrared sensors and the inducers and all these different kind of sensors. If he wants to take that on further, there's plenty of opportunity. I've got another student who's programming the quadricopter, the parrot drone, to see if it can go through a 3D maze. I've got another student writing an Android app for a, as a guitar tuner. We've got motion detection as a surveillance system and many other things. And yeah, we've got access to this room from early in the morning to really late at night. It's quite nice actually to, to be able to come in and just sit down and put a circuit together maybe or just sit down and code and yeah and you've always got the help of any lecturers who are available. Who are available. <laughs> so after the second year they will go out on placement and we have companies coming to us all the time asking for our students because our students are very practically orientated which employers like. As in Culture of Technologies uh, was there for just over a year. Um, it's an agriculture company, uh, programming in uh, Open Edge 4GL. Um, it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I learnt a lot. I learnt a lot. It's definitely worth it because now I've got experience on my CV. I spent 12 months out at Airbus helicopters out in the south of Germany in Augsburg, just north of Munich. Um, I did. Well, I was a junior developer slash tester. And the great thing about the placement opportunity is that a lot of students then get a job offer at the end of their placement. So if they want to, they can go back to a job. But I think the best aspect of, of doing the placement is that you're working with people who are doing it for real. And you will learn things from them that you will never learn in any academic institution. If you're willing to put yourself out there, people are willing to give you jobs and give you tasks to do. I think that, that was probably the thing I learned the most about my placement is if you don't know something, tell them and they'll try and get you to understand what you need to do. I adore working with the students. It's fabulous to see the youngsters coming in, and I don't mean that patronisingly, and to see them leaving as young, professionally, well-qualified people. It, it's adorable. It's the best job in the world as far as I'm concerned.